All right, gang, so I did a lot of searching for a great option for a budget equipment bag for light stand, camera gear, all that kind of cool stuff. This is the Godox uh, roller bag. It's a big bag. And I was excited to get a bunch of stuff in here, and I did. 90 pounds worth of gear in here, which I would not recommend. The fact that I'm holding Gorilla Tape in my hand at the end of that review is not a good sign. This was going to be my wrap-up video, but I'm just starting out with, with it to save you some time. There was a couple things you'll see if you stay tuned uh, that are kind of glaring. I couldn't ignore <laughs> that surprised me uh, when we went through this bag and kind of I actually take it apart and show you the insides and stuff like that. Um, and was surprised to see some of the things I found. If you've got super lightweight gear and you're not going to try to cram it with as much stuff as I just did, uh, you know, a few light stands and stuff like that, and you just need it for a few gigs here and there, you might get by with this budget bag. You only got somewhere around 100 bucks. Okay. It definitely looks nice. And it's going to be better than my rucksack that I used to carry around and two other bags. Uh, I can fit all that stuff in this one bag. If you're a pro, you're looking to do this every day and you want some, get by with something, you think, you know what, it looks like the same thing as these other ones, just a hundred bucks. Mm, it's not, it's not, it's definitely budget. It is definitely budget, it looks pretty good, but there's some design flaws and some construction flaws that we'll see in, in the video. So, Gorilla Tape. Mm. This is a Godox wheeled uh, light stand uh, tripod bag essentially and I've got it loaded up with light stands, tripods, and lighting equipment. And so this is kind of a the best option through my research search that I could find for just a budget level bag. If you've got all the budget in the world, this isn't the bag I'm going to recommend. I recommend uh, taking a look at Think Tank. If you've got a medium budget, uh, later on I'll talk about another option that is almost identical to this, but has some upgrades to, I think, will enhance the reliability and make it last longer. Now, you know, notice I couldn't fit everything I wanted in the bag. I ended up uh, strapping on one additional item on the outside, which is an umbrella here, uh, or actually a softbox. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to walk you through everything we have in the bag. And then I'm going to uh, empty out the bag and I'm going to show you some of the insides of the bag and how it's actually made so you get a better look because I know it's difficult looking online trying to figure out, you know, what's the quality of this bag? Is it nice? Does it look nice? Is, is it just junk or what? And so I'll give my verdict on this as well. But let's just dive in starting out with, you know, what could I actually fit in this bag? And it's about, I think, almost 45 inches in length and like uh, about 13 inches deep, uh, which I like the depth of this bag is one of the reasons I went with it. Um, so this is the Godox, uh, I think it's CB01, but I'll put the information down below uh, if you wanna check it out. <laughs> you know, you already know you're dealing with a budget bag when you ended up throwing extra straps on here. I threw this extra strap on here because I'm not 100% uh, sure about this handle over here, okay? This handle is, um, I don't know, I'm questionable, because right now with all the gear in this bag, I weighed it and it's 90 pounds worth of gear. But anyway, I've got this strap here uh, just in case um, this handle gives way or to help me going upstairs and stuff like that um, to have a second handle. And I've just put kind of buckled this through the straps that exist here. I'll show you that in a second. But anyway, I, I strapped this, um, I use a modified uh, Paul Buff or Alien Bees um, softbox here and I just modified the, the speed ring so that um, a bones mount uh, it'll work with um, my Godox uh, video lights so that's the first thing I, all I did was I just kind of you know wrap the straps around this and and clamp it with a clamp here to hold it in place because uh, this was a little taking up a ton of space I could get it in there but it was taking up a lot of space with that ring so I'd get more stuff in here without that inside and then basically this little strap I just wrapped around these two and it's just a simple uh, you know this is just off some piece of luggage I had and I just threw it on there um, to help me out first thing I'll note is the zippers are a, a larger zipper which is nice but they're definitely not YKK quality. I already had one of these come off uh, and I've only opened and closed it probably 10 times. So the little, uh, you know, the handle piece came off and I just, you know, slid it back on there. Um, but one thing to note, zippers work, uh, but you got, you got, oh, see that? <laughs> so first note of quality is this does not have YKK zippers. And so, um, you know, if you think you can get away with this for a while, 
that's kind of that's the kind of bag this is until maybe you can get a you know expensive five or six hundred dollar think tank bag right which will last you i'm sure much longer than this but i'm hoping this will get me through a few gigs and then upgrade uh so anyway we open this up um and uh on the top top lid here you'll notice there's a zipper bag here um and it's got two big compartments uh, unzip this here and uh you know this have, this one's empty currently I had so much stuff you notice that i went higher than the than the zipper line here to get a bunch more stuff in here some stuff that was taller uh, i put it upright instead of lengthwise uh, but you'll see in a second in this pouch i've got just some audio cables and stuff and just like a, a little bag where i can see that i've got my cables and stuff um and so it's just some accessory xlr you know a little clamp if i need to clamp a, a mic or something uh to something and so that's all that i currently have in this top lid here uh, but you can put you know more in here all right so that's that in the top area let me drop this down <clears throat> all right so very top here i've got uh a light stand i just got a flashpoint uh i need another stand here and this is a decent uh stand here i just put it in the bag for extra padding kind of to protect because i have lighting gear in here too um but this little flashpoint i haven't even broken out yet but first glance the quality is pretty decent all, all metal on these parts, um, even the knobs, and, and it wasn't that expensive. So, put that down below. <clears throat> on top here, I've got a, a Calumet softbox. Um, this is one of those softboxes with the four, the four rods, you know, and it just pops out. Um, in the bag, I also have a speed ring for it, and it's got, you know, some diffusion stuff for it. And I like that it has its own bag again, so I can add some extra kind of separation and padding here. I'll hang on to this um this little cheapo stand already took a beating just kind of rolling this thing around and one of those pins uh for a leg already went mia <laughs> so i'll probably just throw a little bolt through there to fix this um it's kind of just like a backup stand but it's not doing a very good job uh, so i'll probably get another one of those flash points instead um i've got a uh octobox umbrella in here this is a simple umbrella that pops up uh, into uh, sort of like a little uh, affordable budget Octobox, you'll see. Um, so, and that's uh, that's made by ProMaster. Um, and I'll throw that. And again, I kind of use these umbrellas to as padding to protect some of the lighting stuff from the tripods and light stands. And again, another umbrella here. This is a super basic. Uh, Umbrella, it's tangled and some stuff. We'll leave it for now. Uh, super basic umbrella here too. Let me get my tripod out here. I've got a, uh, <clears throat> I think a Ravelli is it? Um, video tripod in here. This is pretty heavy. Uh, another uh, light stand here. It's a six or seven or eight filter. I can't remember. And all this that we're pulling out is mostly in this back compartment and to on top. Um, here's my other tripod. Now this one I have my head in my other bag although i have a uh, dedicated camera gear bag and so that's where the head is for that and i just add that on later then i've got this uh this little stand here i just use this for if i need to uh, like a get a um a shotgun mic closer or something like that uh, i'll use this little stand and throw a sandbag on it um just to get a mic closer if i don't have a lab mic or if i just want to double up on audio um <clears throat> All right, so we get that umbrella. There's a little umbrella in here, just a little tiny umbrella. Um, I got a couple of miscellaneous things in here, a little adapter for uh, umbrella or whatnot in case I need it. Um, and then I've got a power cord with a, a splitter on it. I got another old school power cord that works no matter where. It's only the two pronger. Um, another, another one there. <coughs> My stuff's all gonna full, roll off the table. Uh, I got a couple clamps in here in case I want to um, clamp up like a modifier or a bounce card or something like that. And I have a, a separate um, modifier that's a, a big square modifier with a frame that I'm using right now, um, but it's too big to fit in this bag. Um, and I will bring that and sometimes clamp it to a stand or something like that or wherever I can if I need it. Um, and then so that is the majority of that back compartment. Let me show you here what we got going on here. So this is what the inside of that bag looks like. 
all right? And so now I've got, down front is my lighting gear. So I've got three of these um, Godox SL uh, 60s. So these are decent. They're, they're you know, budget light. can get you going with three lights uh, for a decent budget here. Um, so I've got one of those and I've kind of separated everything with the cables. I put them right in next to the lights to kind of, again, protect them against bumping into other things because these dividers that it comes with are okay, but not great. And they don't stay super well in place. Um, so, and there's not really not enough of them. I wish there was more. Well, you got that think tank bag. It comes with a ton of dividers, so that kind of helps you out a little bit more. But I've just ended up using what I have and, you know, tucking some things in between, like for example, um, this is the fusion screen for the, the Paul Buff uh, softbox, and I kind of use it to extra padding between the lights. So there's that. Here's another one of those uh, Godox lights and power cord for it. And the third Godox, put that there, and a power cord for it. <clears throat> now, uh, and see what we've got left in here is just some of the accessories for the lights uh, and I've got one of these uh, I got another one of these actually I really like this little uh, lab mic they're cheap and they come they're pretty decent quality on it actually the uh, materials they use is nice um, and the packaging ain't bad either and it's cheap um, I've got this lab mic on right now actually I'm recording um, and I'm recording with this little portable uh, mic uh, that works pretty good this little Sony uh, recorder I should say um, just throw it in my back pocket, but um, I got an extra one of these just and throw it in here just in case you know I need it or if I forgot one I still got a backup um, in here. I've got barn doors uh, I bought a kit for one of these lights that came um, I think it came with these these barn doors I think um, and it comes with some gels um, Some gels in a grid And so I've got that in there in case I need that for something <clears throat> and then in the center here, I've got a couple other grids, uh, different degrees uh, grids, basically. Speed ring for that Calumet softbox. And then lastly, I've just got two of the um, uh, reflectors um, for the Godox lights. I don't always use this, but in case I just want to bounce it off a ceiling or uh, I just hit a background or something like that, I've got a couple of them, but most of the time I'm going to throw modifiers um on those lights for like interviews and stuff like that but anyway uh then i've got these also of course if i want to put a grid in it um something like that so i just bring two i don't bring three or something so then that leaves us with uh the inside of the bag there you go and you see you get one big long divider and then you get a few of these little ones and then there's a couple little straps in here too um these straps go across and in here so that you can sort of uh, anchor things from moving around too much. Um, one thing I've noted is that you, you can't go super tight with it because you run out of uh, Velcro, um, but you can go about, you know, this is about as tight as you can go as like something like that. But you know, if you got light stands and stuff, you don't want to move around, you've got this on both sides to try and keep things, uh, keep things in place. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way and then I'll show you sort of the internals, this zipper opens up so I can kind of show you the build and how it's made and stuff, which is kind of interesting. And uh, yeah. So let's just show you the top of the bag here, the side, the bottom of the bag. These are the wheels on the bottom and the posts here. You'll see there is some flex in these. I don't know how long these are gonna last. Um, the wheels seem to be on there pretty good, seem pretty solid. Um, there is no protection in this area, which when you're rolling up um, stairs and stuff, it does start to dig right here. I, I don't know why they make these rods extend a little further. You notice just going up, testing going up some stairs and stuff, I've already got scrapes and stuff in here because the thing is 90 pounds, so it's definitely going to get start to get torn up quickly if you're rolling around anywhere near as much weight as I'm trying to roll around here instead of carrying so many bags. Um, this top end here is this handle so this is my other thing in question the handle seems solid 
and it's actually uh, riveted through here to a piece of metal, which is great, on the other side, and I'll show you in a second, but I don't know what's inside the metal here, uh, the handle. If this is just plastic going in here, I'm worried when I'm pulling 90 pounds upstairs or something that this may give way, and once it gives way, I have nothing else really to hold. Uh, I still have these other straps, but it's hard to pull it up the stairs with these straps down where they are. Um, hence, I threw on that other strap that comes up here so I can kind of two-hand the front strap in this other one. Um, I may, at some point, uh, rivet in an extra cloth strap here as a backup in case this ever does give way. I've got a backup. The other concern is those, those zippers, right? You see that um, already came off just because this is not the, the best uh, zipper, I think. I think I may be able to pinch it down a little bit to prevent it from doing that again, or maybe I'll throw a... Uh, uh, a little bit of uh, paracord on here uh, instead of the metal ones uh, just throw some paracord to pull um, and maybe that won't come off <clears throat> um, these little straps in the front are good um, I like having these straps in the closure um, with the velcro here in case the zipper does fail um, hopefully that's going to help keep the lid together a bit better and with that umbrella on here uh, or sorry the octobox or, or uh, softbox and uh, that clamp, I feel like it's gonna be a, another level of like precaution, make sure it doesn't apart. Now all the edges do are reinforced with these kind of things to prevent it from getting too torn up. Um, there are some weak points, you know, like the bottom is not protected here. Okay. Well, I think it'd be better if there was some here. And this I think could use extra rivets, but um, you know, it is what it is. This is basically just you know, budget bag so there is on the front a little place you could label something here maybe your info um, if you were gonna go on a plane I would not take this on a plane I wouldn't trust it myself unless the stuff I put in here I had um, uh, you know just packed like wrapped in like clothing or bubble wrap or something to give it extra padding um, but certainly not what I was putting in this just to roll around myself I would not ship that, that would, it would definitely be getting broken. And I wouldn't rely on this zipper because even zippering uh, this up, um, there are some failure points. Just because the way the bag is made, the edge of this bag sometimes pushes up against it. And when you zip it, if you aren't careful about watching the alignment here, um, the zipper doesn't always come together properly. So I would watch that zipper as you zip it to make sure it does come together. Otherwise you've got a uh, failure like that for example <clears throat> now this thing can start to totally come apart so you want to make sure when you go around those corners that you don't do that and this again it's not a YKK zipper um, I I have seen another option um, there's a company called strobe pro and uh, I swear that they're talking about it being their upgraded new bag I think that this may have been the old version and they've done a lot of things I've noticed in this bag. They've upgraded for their new version. And it's just, uh, I think it's probably $100 more than this bag, somewhere around that. It's Canadian, so you gotta do the conversion when you see the prices. It's actually a little cheaper than what it looks like when you see the price. But um, uh, I think it's somewhere around $250, uh, but it breaks down, you know, it's, it's gonna be like more like 200 bucks or something like that. And you gotta pay for shipping, of course, and all that. But but uh, they've upgraded zippers to YKK. They've done some additional like riveting on these straps because this is probably a weak point. Um, I've already seen some stitches, you know, getting some stress as I've been, you know, moving this around with all that weight in it. So they've reinforced some of that stuff. Outside of that, most of it looks almost the same. They've also got a strap here um, to keep this lid open like this instead of flopping over with all your stuff in it, which might be annoying. Um, and uh, a few little upgrades, but. Um, you know, I don't have that bag on my on my person to com compare it, but it looks specs wise looks pretty similar. Might be a couple inches shorter length wise, but um, the feet have been the feet have been upgraded. The straps have been riveted. There's some better zippers and more reinforcement stuff like that. So it may be a better like if you've got more than a hundred bucks, maybe go with that version. It should be definitely the zipper alone. I think would be worth the upgrade. So. Um, and as far as the quality of this goes, this is pretty lightweight mesh. 
you know, I'm sure this is gonna, if you put sharp things or sharp things are against it, it will tear pretty soon. Um, it's not super du durable or anything. But let me show you um, the insides of this. And so you just got this one long divider and you've got these uh, individual ones here you can put wherever you want. Also, there is another divider here at the bottom. The, um, the Stroke Pro Company, uh, their new bag, their, that bag that they have, whether it's, I don't know if it's definitely the same as this or not, but they advertise um, putting this divider in here and then they have, I don't know if it's the same deal, if this is supposed to be the base of this bag or not. I put it in the base and do the extra padding, but it's also, there is some padding in the bottom of this, just very little. Um, you could just leave it like this. And what they did in their version is, they put this on top. After they filled up all that stuff, they put that on top. Just for example, you know, I could, I could easily put a bunch more stuff. I could put more umbrellas, maybe another stand or two um, up here too. And there's, you know, right now I've got one, two, two umbrellas and, you know, three various uh, stands. But I would want to make sure that, you know, whatever was underneath this was pretty fairly well balanced um, to keep this on top so it doesn't, you know, go like this and all your stuff smashes together. I don't know, it feels like some kind of cardboard with uh, foam on each side of the cardboard. Uh, that's fine. Let me take this out of here. And again, this is the same thing. There's a piece of, you know, like cardboard in here and then foam on both sides and cloth around that. The interesting thing about this bag is the top here, your standard zipper going around here, this is your wide zipper that closes everything. There's also an inner zipper. A lot of, you know, luggies have this. And if you unzip this, you can see how this bag is put together. So, for example, in the corner here, you know, it's just plastic. And the edges of the plastic are just, you know, taped over to hold it together. And there are some rivets here that rivet these, these corners uh, together. And so, but what's more interesting is the inside. FYI, I just noticed this when I came around the other bag, other side of the bag, <laughs> that they never taped, I don't know if it broke, uh, or if they never taped where they connect this together like the other portions, um, but this just came free, <laughs> and it's just hanging down now uh, from the top front of the bag. So yeah, definitely some, <laughs> some flaws here, um, but I'll probably tape that like they did over on this side of the bag here, you'll notice they, they just connect it. So yeah, that makes me think that that just is a failure right there because they already have that side taped. So yeah, I don't know. I question the quality of this bag at this point for sure. Let me show you the inside of the main, the base of the bag here. All right, so this is just a, you know, foam. It's just a foam with cloth. It's all light foam and cloth. Um, it's all that's inside that bag. And that just comes right out. And if we look inside, this is what you've got. You've got this plastic. And again, where it meets on the front here, it's just taped uh, over, all right? And the bottom is just, you know, some kind of cardboard or plastic, plastic on the bottom. And it's glued together. And you can see the rivets. Um, you can see the rivets here from the base. Now I also notice this bottom is giving way. There's some glue that's supposed to adhere uh, the sides together. And I notice as I press on this, this glue has already come apart from the sides. So there's no like bracket reinforcing this to keep it together. At that point, you know, your cloth on the outside of the bag is holding it uh, together. Um, so of note there, but one thing that was a positive, okay, here's another interesting point. This rivet, you'll see, is broken uh, through the plastic side here. Um, you know, it's just must be, you know, they may have just over tightened that. Um, but the handle is, you know, riveted through this metal bracket. So that's not too bad, but definitely some of these rivets are breaking or, or close to breaking here. And then uh, the feet, the 
feet you'll also see at the bottom uh, those are riveted on there as well okay and that's that's the basic construction of this but definitely some weak points is there's no real bracket connecting the wall to the base um, and this glue is supposed to adhere that I guess and you got it up on the walls a little bit and uh, I don't know how long that'll last um, I might throw uh, an additional rivet uh, through here uh, or get another piece of metal maybe up here similar to what they did there and throw my own uh, cloth handle uh, just a strap similar to the straps they use on the front just like a safety belt strap throw that on the front as a backup handle uh, it would be nice if there was a handle on the other end in case somebody wanted to help you pull this so you could also do the same thing at the bottom if you you are a do-it-yourself kind of person and then you'd have two straps there um, and that that wouldn't hurt for sure uh, to have another strap there as far as the outside material this this seems fairly fairly solid this material um, but yeah definitely some things could be improved on uh, maybe take a look at that uh, uh, speed pro bag I'll put it the information down below um, but also think tank uh, makes some really good stuff and you always hear good things about it, and the only thing is they're expensive so yeah and then also you know I'm just hoping that this holds up a little bit better than this little bag um, I got this as a Christmas present I actually really love the design on this bag but um, you know the downside to this bag was the materials um, and perhaps the um, the efforts in the assembly uh, but the design on this I love this little for a lightweight bag uh, to carry a bunch of you know Sony a7 stuff uh, this thing was great um, but the longevity was not superb um, I'll, I'll do a little review of this little bag $50 bag if you're on a budget and you don't have a ton of stuff uh, this might work um, for a while anyway um, kind of similar on lines with this you know this gets you by for a while I think but uh, eventually you probably want to upgrade to something a little more uh, professional quality you can definitely get a bunch of stuff in here and it looks pretty professional um, going on set so if you need to get by for a couple shoots and you know maybe those shoots are gonna fund you to get a upgraded bagger and you're not gonna try to do what I did and put 90 pounds worth of stuff in here um, you might be okay but outside of that I don't know if I can recommend it so hope you uh, enjoy my honest, honest opinion thanks gang. Talk to you soon. I don't know. Through his other Yeah, Daddy almost got through his whole take. Is that And then funny? my child came downstairs and someone is supposed to be watching you. I filmed this after I noticed all the broken stuff. What if we could use it as a canoe? We'll try it in the summer. I don't want to die. It's a Godox in my pocket. But I'm also happy to see you. Run. I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be doing. What? Why am I always so embarrassing? <laughs>